Enterprise Management 360. Hello and welcome to this episode of Tech Chat. As promised from our preview last time, we're at the Women in Cybersecurity Awards, bringing you exclusive interviews with the winners and those involved. So let's go ahead and find out what they have to say. Joining me now is Sarah Wood, who's the head of the Women's Business Network and client partner at NTT Data. Sarah, what's been the highlight of today for you? It's all just been really fantastic. Um, Seeing our finalists um, and then the two winners of the two um, awards that we had today was absolutely fantastic. Um, And I've personally just been blown away by the fantastic women and all of their um, personal accomplishments. It's just amazing, actually. And in light of everything that we've learned at the event today, what do you think organisations need to zero in on? I think celebrating success is really important and it was a really, really great way to round off the Information Security World event that we've had here today. Um, I think it raises awareness of gender issues for organisations and we've heard from a number of speakers today about the um, sort of gender disparity we have. So all of that is really great. Um, We also heard about mentoring and how important it is um, for women to have mentors, um, but also for them to be mentors themselves. Um, And I think the other key takeaway has been around the role models. Um, So women being role models for other um, women in business is a really good thing, and I think we can all do more of that, um, and hopefully people will leave today signing up to to do more of that in their own organisations. Sounds brilliant. Thank you so much, Sarah. So I'm being joined now by one of the winners, Carolyn Guillaume. Carolyn, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, of course. Um, so I am Carolyn Guillaume and I am the uh, director of the Barclays Security Programme, um, which is a transformational change to our security posture at Barclays. Um, it's a very broad range of programme of work. Um, so it's not just about improving our technology, it's also about improving our people, process and culture. Um, and I've been at Barclays seven years now. Um, I'm based in our uh, Manchester office in Radbrook, Nutsford. Um, and I have three young daughters. That's lovely. And in light of your three little girls, what do you think schools and universities can be doing to encourage girls to get into STEM subjects? So first of all, that there are no boundaries. We need to get rid of the stereotypical um, career options for our female colleagues. Um, and we should let them uh, explore their interests and their hobbies um, and show them what is the opportunities that are possible um, and show them that they can do it. Um, you know, all too often when we give career advice, we tend to stick to the stereotypical types of roles that are out there. Um, and what saddens me is when we get graduates and apprentices that come along um, who are fascinated by what we do, they're not aware or have ever been aware that these opportunities exist. And given where the future is heading, the opportunities are ever more present. Carolyn, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's been an absolute honour. Thank you. Joining me now is another one of tonight's winners, Sahar Noman. So congratulations. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what this award means to you? Sure. Um, I'm a threat intelligence analyst at BAE Systems Applied Intelligence, uh, which basically means I track and investigate uh, different threat activity um, and different kind of offensive cyber operations, uh, which I love. And this award is amazing. To be honest, I didn't expect it. And... um, I couldn't be happier, and to be honest, it's it's also uh, a credit to the people who I work with and have always supported me and put me forward for things that, again, I never would have put myself forward for, and so I owe them quite a lot, and I hope that, you know, it can um, be a really good example to other peers in my industry um, who do similar work to me, and just know that being passionate about your work and, and kind of... Um, Holding that as a goal is is enough, and that will drive you forward no matter what. And can you tell us what you think organizations can get out of having a more diverse workforce? Definitely. So I think one of the obvious answers is diversity of thought, which is what people usually say, and having people from different backgrounds, different um, with different skill sets and different understandings of the world actually changes a lot what you will get as a result when you put all those people together. So, um, you know, everyone cautions against the idea of groupthink and having everything be the same. And so you're not going to have creativity or or kind of good analysis or good, you know, insights unless you vary that pool of people. 
Uh, the other thing is, it's, I mean, to be honest, if you're looking at it from a business perspective, it's just good sense. Um, so personally, I would do it for other reasons because I think it's right. And, um, you know, women, women of color, et cetera, minorities should be at the forefront of these kind of organizations um, and be included to the same degree. But honestly, I think it's also just um, profitability. It's a business issue um, and you're going to have more success if you have more diversity within your organization. Sahal, thank you so much once again for taking the time to speak to us and congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Tech Chat and congratulations once again to the winners. We'll be back next week with another episode, but in the meantime, if you'd like to generate leads for your business, then head on over to our Tell Us Your Audience page, where we can distribute your content across North America, APAC and Europe, delivering SQLs and MQLs right back to you. Also, make sure you're following us on Twitter or LinkedIn, and also head on over to our website, em360tech.com, for more great content.